NASA is about to go where no one has gone before, the sun. What are you doing? Why is Autopilot flying in the fucking sun? Hey, <laughs> the title sucks. Yeah, I know. I just, I don't know anything about this game. So I don't know how to title this game. I know it's about you're in space. You start, you look, you're searching around. I don't know anything about the game. Just searching around space, you yearning, want to, I don't know. Whatever, it's staying, I don't care. Uh, I know that, I know that this is a very spoiler-filled video game. So I'm going to do my best to not pay attention to chat. It's gonna be really hard for me to do that. And we were talking in pre-stream chat about how, oh dude, just put it in sub only. Well, um, I'm not sure that's gonna do very much considering that almost all of you at this point are subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's almost 11,000 subs on this channel, so it, you, all I would do would be flipping a switch that doesn't have a light bulb plugged in. Be like, let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's turn the lights on for this one. Oh, there's no bulb in there, but I flipped the switch. So, we're just gonna let it, we're gonna let it ride. Uh, I'm gonna try to not look too far into what people are saying. I'm gonna just, I did a wink. Good. Did another wink just come in? We're gonna start to see a lot more of these. Out of wilds. Now, I, I gotta re make sure I read it, I gotta re 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 reiterate this again. I... I'm just gonna kind of experience this game. I'm not gonna be paying too much attention to chat because I've been told. Um, I can spoil, like, the last season of this show in one sentence, right? So, like, I gotta be careful. And, uh, please, we're not gonna do sub only, but just know that, you know, if, if you, you know, you drop a fucking spoiler line here, you're out. You're gone. Like, you're gone. You're out. Don't ignore me. Did I, another wink come in? No. Wait, what? No, only- what? Yeah, another one just came in! What the fuck? I'm just gonna keep this up for a minute. Cause I feel like we're gonna get like a shitload of these. Another one. No, I got- I actually have it up on my dashboard. I can see when they're fake. Alright. Let's get started. Uh, I've been told that this is one of the best games of the year, from last year. We're gonna- I've, I'm curious. I wanna know why. I'm playing with a controller, by the way. Wake up. Is it, is it FPS? Oh, it is FPS. Talk to Slate. Roast a marshmallow. We're doing that first. Oh. Oh, god damn it. I ruined it. Although... <laughs> you gotta go all in. If you end up lighting it on fire, you gotta go all in. And then you, you pull the charcoal mess off the top and you eat it. I get so obsessive compulsive when it comes to roasting marshmallows. Every single centimeter of this whole thing has to be a golden brown. Or you go all in and you burn the fuck out of it. It lights on fire and then like I said, you peel it off. Like that. You let it burn. Blow it out. Pull off the weird exoskeleton that's on it. Eat the exoskeleton and then suck on the fucking juices inside. Alright, that was good. Let's go. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say, ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. Right to the point, I like it. Jump. A hold and release? That's kind of weird. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off on your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Uh, I want to practice before I leave. Oh, you're just saying that, but if you really want to practice, I guess I can help you. I need- I gotta learn how to fly. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got. Am I in it? I'm in this? Okay, that's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. How do I drive it? 
<laughs> you fly! Up, down, thrust, horizontal thrust! Guys, I'm not, I don't think I can do this. It's going, it's like doing way too much thrust. You know what I'm saying? It's going like a, it's going too fast. It's less than four buttons, Jerma. I, okay. How do you turn? Okay, I'm serious. I don't understand this. You're thrusting too fast? Is it, it's, is it pressure sensitive? I mean, I'm holding it down, kind of. Was I not supposed to do that? <laughs> Is it my Xbox controller that's doing it so much? It's like, I'm trying not to do too much pressure, but my Xbox One controller is blo like blowing it out. I did it. That's, I'm done, right? Leave. Okay, no, I got it. I, I, I guess I, I guess I kind of understand. Wow, that was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. You'll be okay flying the big one, right? I hope so. I don't know, you tell me. So many people to talk to. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker, what's with the radio? We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope. Because it's really delicate and I'm not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? Sure, let's play. Well, okay, here, the, it's like a tutorial. Galena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes. I'm gonna open up, my money's gonna be gone. All right. Frequency, change frequency, zoom in. Unknown. Boy, I mean, isn't this the person playing the guitar? No, oh, it's up there. All right, found you. You found me. So is there fall damage or anything? No. This shit is dark. You got me, but I'm the last one. I win. I promise you'll play again when you get back to space. Okay, gotta go. I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Scout launcher. Launch scout. What the fuck is going on? Okay, so I, I fire. This is just a. Uh, this is a cannon camera. Oh, it's still flying. Why does this remind me of Firewatch? The walking with the acoustic guitar in the background is just. I'm waiting for the radio to come up. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Boring. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse into helium into carbon. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, when I first passed this, I thought these were fruits. I thought it was like apple, peach, nectarine. I didn't realize it. Like, when I walked by them and I glanced over, I was like, oh, those are pretty good nectarines. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavy elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Monka. Fucking ass. <laughs> right, guys? This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Riddle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. I, I, get me out, get, get me off, get me off, get me off. I'm gonna throw up. If I had stood on that platform for another 10 seconds, I would have had to turn the stream off. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can, I'm sorry, I just bumped you in the face. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and quite usual, unusually only three eyes. The Nomai body was likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bones, show us that Parthians couldn't have descended from Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Al. Hey, it's my favorite streamer! Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the Translator Tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Haha, <laughs> oh jeez. Haha, <laughs> oh god. Do not break it. 
This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, dude, that's fucking pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Like, from center out? That's pretty cool. Alright. Untranslated writing. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says cal cal calibrating the device won't take long. What about that one? Oh, wait. There's more. Fortunately, the Adorok's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. You met. Uh, all right. You are here. <laughs> fly, fly right. I want to fly into the sun. Okay. Uh, yeah, man. Um, there ain't no translating text on the sun. Uh, you die if you go near it. Uh, but we'll, we'll make sure we start training the other hatchlings to uh, replace you. Real soon. Take a few photos. Don't worry. I plan on taking at least three photos and then opening the window and whipping the phone out. And then one day somebody will find it. It's actually pretty interesting. I got the idea because I found a cell phone flying around in space. There was a picture of this planet with these giant fucking tentacles coming out of it. It's the new message in a bottle, man. Get with it. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes. Here they are. Dash, 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 dot, dot, dash, dot. I don't know what that says. This strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of the debate agree the effect of extremely creepy. I don't get it. Oh. You made out of that rock? Okay. I want to make a Game of Thrones reference so bad, but I can't. Is it a- <laughs> Did you let him touch you? Did he touch you? What the hell was that? It just, all right, it just, it just, I did, it just absorbed everything I did. Hey, hey, did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? Uh, the this, this stat, statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, 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 the statue was doing what? So it's eyes open and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like medically speaking? No, that statue's definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfels tried everything to get that statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabro is, you know, Gabro, so maybe you'd be able to, you know, maybe search for info on your own. He's a fucking, you know, he's a dick. Geez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator to to find out more about the statue, okay? <laughs> it was a lot faster getting back here, guys. Come on. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's got the launch codes. <laughs> Maka S. Here we go. Enter launch codes. Alright, I was gonna say, this is not gonna, like, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, right? Let's go. What do I do? View ship log. View entry. Timber hearth. Rumor mode? View rumored entry. I hear there are Nomai ruins somewhere in the Adel Rock. Oh, okay, so you get to... Sounds like Esker's still stationed at the Adel Rock. They've been there by themselves for a while. Alright, okay, let's go. Suit up. How do I close the door? Alright, buckle up. Lift off. Landing camera. Lift off. Am I in space? Holy shit. <laughs> this is crazy. Alright, wait. What's that? I need to find the moon. Where's the planet I just came from? Where's the planet I just came from? Right there, right? The interloper. What is that? Alright, we need a... Uh, battle rock. There it is. Okay, lock on. Engage autopilot. Match velocity. How fast am I? How Wait, it's right there, it's right there. Okay, slow down. 
All right, so I'm gonna do autopilot. Engage autopilot. I'm bigger than this planet is. I gotta get like picked up by the, by the gravity. How do I get in here? Landing mode. What the fuck is happening? Is this right? This is the bo this is the camera on the bottom, right? I'm not driving straight into this, am I? All right, all right. I need to find. What am I looking for? I'm trying to find their the base of operations. This is my ship. Oh my god. We're turning upside down. We're going upside down. We're upside down. I don't like this. Okay, wait, I need to find writing and some clues. Isn't there a base here that I, I'm... Oh! <laughs> this is Mario Galaxy, but the whole world does it, not just one planet. What the hell is that? Oh! Nope, someone's playing a harmonica. No, no, that's my friend. It's a friend. Wait, what is what is that? That's another planet. There's people just playing musical instruments. Jump to the other planet? Holy shit. I made it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we reviewed the logs. Uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think he should have been the one on that case. He tried to jump from a, pla a moon to a planet. Probably wasn't the smartest thing. Wait, what? Atmospheric, wait, am I? Hey, you ready to get this thing off the ground? Ship's all fuel and ready to go. Did I just die? Oh, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars at night before I launch, but if you ask me, it makes you a little jumpy. I have the codes. I do? Oh, I do. Oh, hold up. You're going to want to get the launch codes from the observatory. I already got them. Must be inhaling more fumes than I realize. That stuff is potent. Well, if you get the codes, I'm not going to stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. Uh, LB... Hold to roll? You can actually do a full roll? Alright, don't do that anymore. That's going to actually make me sick. Alright, let's go back there. What the hell? I don't even understand what I did. Let's lock on. Oh my god! Get up, go, go, go! Pull up, pull up, pull up! That was almost a disaster. Yeah, right there, let's see? There is something on here, I knew it. Right there. Oh, I found them. These are the ruins, right? Yeah, these look like ruins to me. Come on, put this away. What the fuck is going on? What the hell's going on? What's going on? This is gonna- I'm gonna get hit by this. What is this doing? Uh... Did I go in? I broke it? How did I break it? Wait, this is- this writing. Coleus, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator. And it can hear and follow the signals from the sun. Giants deep and brittle hollow. Hold on, let me go get Otto. Otto wants to come in the room. Be right back. I can hear him yelling at me. He's like, hey, open this door right now! He gets really annoyed if you if he's not hanging out in the room with you. So if, he, if, if he's not in the room with me, he'll just be like, um, excuse me, what the fuck am I not doing in there? And I'm like, yeah, you're right, get in here. My special boy. What else you got? However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see, I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Private, my apprentice and I will make adjustments and try again. An update! Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to post this. Post this? My friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the Eye of the Universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Our search for the Eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Okay, wow. Wow. I've seen this rude in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of, uh, know my locator. You can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. 
But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. South Pole of Brittle Hollow. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly stay safe. Oh, stars above. Holy sh okay, well, what's this? Pick up scroll. What does this do? Put it in here? Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has some available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eyes, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I'll begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately. And Nona and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Okay, don't go to the Ember Twin. Don't build... Okay, Brittle Hollow South Pole. Is there any more? What's this thing? What's that? What's this? What's this thing? What does that do? Fill up the oxygen. Alright, you, if you touch a tree, you get oxygen. Right? That makes sense. Alright, let's go to the Brittle Hollow. I do appreciate that little mini map over there because it shows the trail, like the the drunk ant trail that I've made. So at least I know where I've been. What is that? Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Land on that. Hold on. Land on the Smash Brothers stage. Come on. I can do it. All right, we're good. So what is this? Esker's signal scope log. A forty-eight. Still not picking up Rybex banjo from Brittle Hollow. Sure, they're fine. But I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to Chert play for a while. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gosan their flirting is not suitable for an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybeck's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. A week later. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I better talk to Nice. There it is. Right there. Unidentified signal nearby. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. I mean, unidentified signal nearby. What are you living up here? What? This person doesn't even have a spacesuit on. Hey, do you have any oxygen? Don't go in the fire. Why do you not have a spacesuit on? You got marshmallows? Of course you do. Wait, I can't breathe! I can't breathe! What? Why would I take off my suit? Oh, marshmallows are so important! <laughs> Wait, I can do this? What's the deal with the marshmallows? Is there something about this that's important? Stop burning them. I like them like that! Look, I know. I know that there's, you know, like, the, like a personality test of how you do, how you... You cook your marshmallows, I know. Alright, let's talk. Oh, hey, it's you! Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. What is the, What are you doing up here? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tend to, uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Don't go. Oh, I, I mean, anything else you want? Anybody else come- did anybody else come by? The Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro. And you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Is it you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. I already went there. Alright, goodbye. What's in your house? This is where we're gonna find the fucking bodies. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's kind of monka s dude. <laughs> that's 
I love that emote. It can be, it just, it's just, it can be used anywhere. You can use Monka S in any scenario. Yeah, I'm out. What is this? Back to the ship. Is this, is what I'm doing stupid? Is what I'm doing stupid? Oh no, 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 where am I? 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 Oh god damn it, no, I'm in outer space. I'm gonna die out here. I'm gonna die out here. I'm gonna die out here. Get back in the gravity. Slow down, slow down. Stop! Okay. Brittle Hollow, 19 kilometers. I probably shouldn't fly near the sun. I'm not gonna go near the sun. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. That seems like a bad idea. Am I even going towards it? 600 miles a second. 700. Is that miles? Was it like milopeters? Se 8,000 milopeters a second? I don't know what this is. <laughs> go up, go up. I'm going so fast. <laughs> that, was, that was too many milopeters a second. Yeah. Autopilot. No, I, I, have to, I have to be able to do it. I'm going slow down. Dodge it, dodge it! Dodge it! <laughs> what the hell is that? Did I just miss something cool? There was like a meteor over here. Uh, what happened? What did I do? Why was it just like an, at, like an atomic bomb? I didn't do anything. Am I not supposed to be on that planet? Did the game get angry with me because I, I went on a planet that I wasn't supposed to be on? Was, was that like a, like a gear check? Like, wait, you're not supposed to be in this part of the story yet. Nuke him. You know the ship is a death trap, right? You're lucky I'm in a time loop uh, because otherwise I'd be dead. The sun is going to supernova, by the way. <laughs> what? You're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright. I'm going back to that planet right now. You are here. Where's, like, the nuke? Okay, is, does it, is it on this map somewhere? All those lantern. That's the thing that, that's the thing that exploded. Remember I said, well, what was that? Like, a meteor just landed. Is this, this thing crashes into this planet. Just auto pilot. Alright, I have autopilot on. Well, wow, that's so much easier. Why did I not do autopilot ever? Well, I unlocked it, so it's just different. I unlocked the planet, so I unlocked it for fast travel. That's my... That's what I'm gonna say. They ah! Okay, I, I, <laughs> I told you, see? It's just... Hell's just raining down here. I'm just not supposed to be here. This is too... I'm, I'm here too early. I'm here to run. I have to get like the anti. I have to get like the the anti uh, meteor shield or something. Uh. This guy. This sounds like a blue whale, or a car on the highway that's going by really fast that's holding the horn down. Plume. Felix and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. How do you behave in a quantum manner? Of note. A unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this groves are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Whose ship is this? Outer Wild Adventures. It looks like it's working. I'm here, I did it, I put the ship down safely, all right. Um, in that ship, in that, sh in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm, a few minor repairs and it's like the ship went down. <laughs> I just, I just spilt coffee on my, uh, Good news. The bad news is I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken. And I, uh, hold on. I like was about to take a sip. I jittered. I, I, I my hand jittered a little, and it spilled a tiny bit on my lap. Sorry. Uh, I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there was one. Probably. 
I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Just open it. Uh, that didn't work. Alright, so... There's a place, there's like a cave to go. Are we on emote only mode because people are going to give spoilers? Yeah, I, I don't want to be spoiled. You have to communicate in pictures to me. Alright, what about like right here? Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? It's a black hole. Wait, 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 wait. Fly, 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 fly? Can I fly? Grab on, grab onto the edge. <laughs> Come on, grab onto something. This is, I can't grab onto this? Three minutes of auction. Come on, grab on. Get in. Get inside. What is this? Just, I just opened a, like, a fucking ancient sarcophagus. What the hell is this? Welcome to the White Hole Station. You fell through the black hole by accident. Don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Riddle Hollow. Every warp tower is turned to a specific astral body. To use the tower, stand on the warp platform on the floor and wait until the tower aligns with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. What the fuck are you talking about? Pick up Ember Twin Projection Stone. What should I do with this? All right, wait, Ember Twin's a planet. Okay, I'm gonna bring this with me to Ember Twin, right? I'm gonna bring this with me to Ember Twin, and I'm gonna use it there. How do I get there? I have to wait for Riddle Hollow to come into frame? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, look up and wait for- wait, oh, hold on, wait, wait, is it when it gets to there, right? I just have to wait till it gets to be 12 o'clock, and then I do it. I'm s- I'm going in. <laughs> this is just space again. What is going on? What am I- what, what's this doing? What should I do with this? I just have this ping pong ball, what do I do? <laughs> do I go in here? I'm stuck in this thing. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I said, said look up. And then go into the- step into the thing? I'm confused. This is glass! Okay, this way- this- I thought that I, I, this is made out of glass. Alright, alright, alright. It's safe down here. Okay, alright, alright, alright. It, it's safe down here. It's made out of glass. I didn't know it was made out of glass. What? Okay, wait! It's, it's following me around. I did it! What do I do? What is it doing? Where am I going? Is this a monorail? Do I just stay on this? There's my ship! There's my ship! There's my, let's go, 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 go! That's my ship! I need, I need to get up there now! Alright, let's go! Oh, wait, we're spinning. Okay, look up! And then when I'm ready, I say, stop? I... Alright, now? Go? Alright? Where the f- well, I don't know where I am. Where am I? Equip translator? Return warp status charge. Step onto the warp path and we're ready. What do I do with this thing? Shit! No, 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 back, 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 go back, 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 go back in there. Go back in there. Oh, God. Go back in there. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, don't do that again. The hanging city below 50 meters. Hanging city. Hanging city. What is this? What, what planet am I on? All right, I'm on all, right, all, right, all right, all right, let's go. I thought it was supposed to be hanging city. Below 50 meters. Well, why did you say that? There's nothing here. Uh, there's bones here. All right, there's more things to read. What is this? To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. It's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clavery, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. 
I'm returning to the Whitehall Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. What the fuck do I do with this thing? There's gotta be a slot I can put this in. Right here. Alright, put it in. I got it! Alright, I did it! Alright, read! What does it read? What does it say? Ram and I reviewed the records you sent, Pokey. And they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Okay, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. An update, Pokey. The High Energy Lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Larry and I have tested and retested the equipment. The result is the same every time. Someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. You suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time to such a small degree? High Energy Lab on Ember Twins Equator. It was... Ooh. What the hell just happened? What's going on? What's just like magic quicksand? Alright, I'm going back. I'm... What the hell is going on? How's my ship over there? What the hell happened to the ship? Why is it over there? What the... Can I not get off this planet ever? How am I gonna get it? How am I gonna get over there? What does it do with over there? I have three minutes of oxygen. Oh my! Wait, unknown. There's a sound over here. Pull it back. Vitals critical. It's okay. Wait, hold on. This is over here. All right, this stuff is red. There's explosions and shit happening. I'm going over here. Unidentified signal nearby. Where? Where is it? Where is it? Down there. It's a guitar. What is it? What the fuck? Okay, where are you? Wait, no, 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 not in there. Don't go in there. No, where are you? Where the fuck is this person? What is that? I got nuked again. Alright, uh, this is the second time that's happened. Is that okay? That's a that's like a time travel thing. I get it. So I'm that we get to see everything I did, but the nuke is like a time explosion. Yeah, that has to be what's going on. But what? How, how am I triggering that to happen though? Is it just like scripted? This is pretty cool. This is really cool, actually. So, all right, I'm starting to understand. So you're on this. You just have these little things, just these missions you have to do to try to unravel the mystery of the Nomai. And you go quest to quest to quest to quest to quest to quest to quest, and you have trail to trail to trail to trail to trail. Error, error, alright. How did you. Why is that emote bigger than every other emote? What the hell is that? That emote is three times bigger than all emotes. Now it's the question of getting into the equator and finding the high energy lab. The labs are like right in there. But what's this? Wait, maybe. Is this a lab? This could be a lab. Oh shit. Alright, is there oxygen in here? Ow. Old patch suit puncture. I need suit puncture. Alright, well, we got something. Activate the gravity cannon. That is that is a gravity cannon. Okay. Call the shuttle home. The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. The sunless city. Can I go in? How do I move this? Can I move this or something? Is it like a punch or a tool I can use? Yeah, that's it. Except, can I do anything with that? Oh, yeah, I can. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 What did I just do? What's going on? I don't know what I just did. What is this one? I think I just like sucked something through. What is that? What did I just do? I just suck something in? Wait, I can go in this. What is this? This is like somebody's ship. This is another ship! Can I fly it? 
Wait. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Pokey, and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the solar star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi, Pokey were able to locate a fissure in the ice in the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but... What are you, running? I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Pokey, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. How do I stop this? How do I stop this? How do I stop this? How do I stop the ride? How do I stop the ride? How do I stop the ride? No, 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 no. go over here. Go in the middle? What? Hi! Where the fuck am I? Huh? What does this one do? Is this the same place? You go out? And then... Where's this taking me? I don't know. Quick while the streamer isn't looking. Put knives out spoilers in the chat. What are you talking about? You can't even talk. You can't even talk, man. Quick, unmod that guy. Yeah, he, he's a real nuisance, isn't he? Mods think they are funny. <laughs> that looks like a lab. That looks like it could be a lab. And there's sounds coming from somewhere in here. It's another one of these things. Cave shard. Oh, Wait, where'd it go? Wait, hey, wait, where is it? Where is it? It's gone. Oh, it's one of those shard things. Where'd it go? You have to keep looking at it. It's like SCP. Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. Molare, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Col Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? Get my gratitude, Burr. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, please? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole, and it happened in an instant, without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. Well, he had one in his pocket. He had a limited supply of air. I'm afraid for him. Yeah, he had one of those rocks in his pocket. Hypothesis, we will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave, where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What is that? What is that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? It's a, it's a bunch of floating trash. What do I do about that? All right, hold on. What's this? God damn it. What's this? What's that? What's this? I need that stone. I need that stone thing. I don't know what that. We're getting close to the sun. That's way too close. Who built this? You can, I can touch the sun right now. How am I not dead? Look at how close that is. That's so close. Oh my god. It's going to touch. It's going to scrape. It's going to scrape. It's going to scrape. Wait. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. That's stupid. It said that when the sand's done, look. What the fuck happened to my body? What's going on? What? Did somebody throw something at me? Did somebody shoot me? Uh, what happened? He jumped 200 meters into the air. This is ADD, ADHD problems for me. I once there's something to look at, and there's something to look at, and there's something to look at at the same time. And I'm just falling off a cliff. This game is nothing but things to look at. I know, and that's why I'm gonna have a big problem with this game. Because there's too many things to look at. Harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. Okay, wait. That's this planet. That's where I am right now. Wait, hold on. Who the fuck is that? Who's doing that? Where is that? Alright, let's go around here. Where is this harmonica? Okay. You're in here? What the fuck is this? Um, okay. Do you- do you have a harmonica? This- this thing's playing the harmonica? How? Hey, Hatchling, I thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures that my little scout was sending back. But I come over here myself and take a look. I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of plant seed. But it's not anything I've seen on timber or hearth before, and trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. I think it's extraterrestrial? It kind of looks like something that might have come off Dark Bramble. Whatever it is, it put down its roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. I think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. 
Let's get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. And no one can remove an unwanted plant faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. I don't want to set anybody up hacking a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking inside of it. Puff can help me all the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside, and... Anyway, I'm not going to blithely stick my hands in anything that looks as unpleasant as that. That's a good way to lose an arm. I got one of those. <laughs> I'm doing a colonoscopy. What's that? Wait, what is that? What is that? What is that? Go find out. Go. I can't go in there. Help! Help! Help me! No, 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 stop, get off, get off, get off, get off. Stop, 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 okay, am I gonna die? I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside. Hmm. It's gonna be a chore to chop up, and no mistake, can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size? Maybe I'll, I'd better grab an extra axe or three. My signal scope is picking up a harmonica inside. I don't know what to tell you, the only harmonica player I know is Feldspar, and they disappeared ages ago. Visitor, don't go telling... Nace about the harmonica music, okay? They'll never let me get rid of this darn seed they su suspected as musical talent. I reckon this thing's from Dark Bramble. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a fire there. There's a campfire there. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Alright, keep that camera on. We're going for it, boys and girls. I could only fucking learn how to drive my body ship. Oh shit, alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I know where that is. I know where that is. That's where it is. Oh, damn, alright. We're gonna go fi- okay, we're gonna go find that. Keep the camera up. Keep the camera up. Don't put the camera down. Oh, you put the camera down, you idiot. Wait, it's still on there. Fly the fucking ship, Jeremy. Oh, uh, wait, let me just turn my head and look around while I drive. Too fast? Am I going too fast? Too fast. Too fast, pull up. Too fast, pull up. Too fast, pull up. Too fast, pull up. Here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dump in there. Oh, oh, oh! Where the fuck am I? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll be there in a minute. I'm coming. I'm coming to rescue you. Error, 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 duplicate signal, error. Fuel level critical, what? Wait, there's another smaller one? Duplicate signal, it's right there. Alright, land on it! Get it! Alright, what is it? Grab it! <laughs> Stick a knife in it! Stick a knife in it! Stick a knife in this thing! No, wait, 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 no, no, no! Wait, give me my... Shoot it! What? Oh! No, wait, no, where is this going? Where is this going now? What the hell is this? What? Am I in somebody's brain? Is this like neurons or something? I'm dead. What is that? That happens every time. What is that? What's going on over here? This shit explodes every time I wake up. Why? What is that? Okay, I'm gonna do that again, and then I'm gonna take the ship in there this time, and I'm gonna continue my investigation. I'm rushing. I'm rushing. I'm rushing. Play Hulk. This game sucks. <laughs> I don't own Hulk for the Wii. How many times do I have to say that? I don't own the Hulk. I'll do it again. Ah, I just was, I was too excited and I just rushed. Do I go in, do I fly in here? I could, can I make it in there too? I don't think I could make it in here. Oh my God, how am I gonna get in there? Slowly. The what? Oh, oh, hello, 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 hello. What? What was that? <laughs> what? Put your 
Put your left earphone in. You have an Insta filter on. I do not have an Insta filter on. You're now you're making me excited. So there's a giant, uh, there's a giant enemy fish in here. That's a little too fast. Way too fast. What? Excuse me! <laughs> okay, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Get out! No, 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 no. Unbuckle. 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 Okay, we're good. We're fine. God damn it. Come on. Bad run. I, somebody fired like a missile at me. There was like a asteroid and it freaked me out. Whatever, I'm just doing this. I'm just flying in the fucking sun. Who cares? I was going too fast because I was too excitable. And then the meteor tried to hit me and it freaked me out and then I crashed. Fuck. <laughs> can I just die already? Can I please die? Why can't I just rip my helmet off and have my head explode? Why? Can't wait to watch the replay of this one. It's gonna be real exciting. That's just the noise that I make right when I'm about to do the Bane impression into a coffee mug. Exciting. Good run. Oh look, there he, there, there he goes again. My soul leaving my body and I don't know, whatever that is. Autopilot's cheating? Well, Fortnite, Jimmy. Let me tell you. Uh, you have to let Luigi help you sometimes. This will be the fourth time I've tried to come over here. Hey! <laughs> it almost happened again! God damn it! Put your earbuds in. Alright, your second earbud going in. Ah! Alright, now where? Oh fuck! I'm fine. Where am I? Shit's getting louder. Wait, it's, it's this thing's mouth! It's in this thing's actual mouth! It's inside of this thing's mouth! Do I go in it? There is a fire over there! I told you there was a fire! I told you there was a fire! I told you there was a fire! I told you! I fucking told you there was a fire, nobody believed me. Oh shit, there goes the ship. Can I, can I, what? <laughs> I want the ship to land. <laughs> I need the ship to land. I'm like, all right, help. help. <laughs> I found you. Relax. 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 Whoa. Where'd you come from? No one's coming here and... Well, and <laughs> actually. That makes you the second Parthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say it's you, they've made you an astronaut, and you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. You're alive. You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right. I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. You crashed? But you're a good pilot. It's kind of passive aggressive. I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. My story goes like this I just finished exploring the core of Giants Deep. And I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever been here before. Getting around in Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, <laughs> you've dodged them all. But after a while, I run into this huge anglerfish. You've seen them. Big gnarly things, and this was the biggest one I've seen yet. Ever. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy, I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and, well, like I said, I crash. Lamo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparkling like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor friend ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. If I move my setup here over here, light on my emergency tree seeds, been here ever since. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, hatchling. Story's over, but I feel free uh, to stay and enjoy the fire a while. But don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure, whenever you have time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet, peaceful. You're a little young to understand. 
There's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. It's been nice to have a break. Well, I don't think we're going to get out of here, Feldspar. Play it on me. I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chert will tell you, if you sow as much glance in Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the bramble is now. The fertile plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and shattered, scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading toward the same fate. And I tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. You reached the core of Giant Steep. How'd you do that? Oh, that was a wild one. Since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yup. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You want to go to the tail end of the anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Put this guy on emote only mode. See that flickering light? That's where your journey begins. All right, I did it. I'm in. Oh, easy. Easy, 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 easy. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. What? I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm increasing. I'm, I'm increasing your puke meters by like 500% right now. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna get out. Oh man, we're going down the drain. Ugh. Duplicate signal, another one? Oh, we got some info, hold on. Trip four, entry, I'm gonna say not one. Crashes three, boring crashes, zero. Whoa, never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of the Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Blur, this thing tastes terrible. The outside's all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right. I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity, see if what's in there tastes any better. Too many musical instruments being played. This way? Where, did, where can I go? Up? Should I go up and out or in or around or I don't know. What's down here? Well, this is fucking beautiful. What's that? I'm alright. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I just... I just am <laughs> a little disoriented. Right up here. This is what I want. Gotta be something on here, right? Like on one of the ends? Come on. No way, there's gotta be like a note up here. Ah, uh, look. This is like these flat surfaces. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Stop, how do I go down? How do I go down? What is this? It's trash? What is this? What the hell is this? This is like an eclipse. What is this place? Is there oxygen on this? Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Okay! Um... There's no oxygen on this planet? Turn, 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 turn! Where's the oxygen? There's a tree right there! I can see the tree! Uh... What? <laughs> That's like, seriously! I can't... Tree? Right... No! There's a tree right here. Tree. Oh, I got a stone. Is there oxygen? No. 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 Quest. 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 Quest accepted. Quest accepted. Elspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior after tasting the insect. Who cares? How do I? Didn't didn't he say tell the everybody? Who do I talk to? The guy in the observatory? And that thing, that thing's gonna consume the planet. Do I need to tell people about it? It's gotta be the guy, the Hel Helford or something, whatever his name is, right? Alright, I'm going up. I'm gonna go there from here. <laughs> I was holding A. Whatever. <laughs> Good run. Imagine seeing that. That guy must have just watched the most heinous, awful, just person being crushed, squished right next to him. That person. Gee. 
Was there something I you needed? Yes. I found Feldspar, and they're in dark bramble stars above. This is wonderful news. Thank you. Thank you for finding them. That Feldspar didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here is incredibly Feldspar of them. We were never entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking back then either. So we ought to fish them out of that dreadful place with all haste. I'll radio Gossen and have them prepare a ship. It really should be Gossen who brings Feldspar home. Oh, inside my ears are itching. Ow! All right, you can't. You can't. I need somebody like a designated face scratcher. Hey, listen to me. Is that a dark bramble seed? It is. Yes. Don't I have info? Well, fuck this place then. Nobody cares. All right, we're gonna go to Giant Steep. I've never been there. Wait, I have been here. Wasn't this the? Is this where it just was? It is. Okay. Alright, this place is like super gravity. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Ooh, wait, something over here. Oh, it's one of those things. Alright, cool, let's go. Now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go in the tornado. Okay, well this is getting me nowhere. I can't I, I can barely move in this water. I keep just dolphining out of the water. I I why <laughs> this shit just got absolutely thrown into the atmosphere. Alright, well, do it to me, too. Do it to me, do it to me, do it to me. Wait, is it falling? What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Fuck you, game. I did- the gravity was that strong? Okay. Ah! Uh, I didn't think it was even- could even hit me. That didn't look like it hit me. Alright, so I'm not getting out of the ship ever again. I'm only gonna get out of the ship if it's absolutely necessary. This looks pretty cool. Whatever it is, let's land. Oh yeah, secret crystals. There's secret crystals over here. happened what where um isn't this stuff this is part of the planet in this part of the planet all right i'm confused this is not part of the but look at this like something froze i gotta go in there can i get out of here or should i all right get out get out get out get out unbuckle get out i want to see i want to read this it's like a i thought that w okay i thought this was writing i thought it was writing on the side it's just sticking out how the hell am I gonna get back up here now? Ghost matter? What is go- Wait, I remember that. Wait, wait, we talked about that. Ghost matter. I weigh like 6,000 pounds on this planet, apparently. Just get on surface. Okay. What? 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 Threat detected! Threat detected! Ghost? What are you supposed to do about the ghosts? There's just ghosts in there. Shit, I was on, I was right, I was, god, I was going down there. Alright, we're going to a new planet. I, I don't like that place. Timber Hearth is one on this planet. Wait. Let's find it. Wait, it's in the museum! Is it the one in the museum? Or is it somewhere, is it another one on the, on the planet? No, no, there's another one! Where is that? Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up, 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 hold up. You say museum like an asshole. Sorry, sorry, I'm from, sorry, I, I apologize. I, 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 I am from a different part of the world as you. Sorry, excuse me, I, I have a slight accent from a different part of the world. <laughs> excuse me, museum. 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 Ha, ah, museum. My room. Why do you say room? Hey, hey, hey why, do you, why does he say room? Is it possible that he's from a different part of the world than me? How is this possible? It's not even, it's not even possible to be from a different part of the world that it's not. He's mauling about mouth noises. <laughs> I gotta go to my room. The fuck did you say? Sorry, my room, my room, my room, my room, my room. That's an idiot. Got it. Oh, get the fuck out of here. 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 I found it. 
Ghost matter. Ghost. that quantum that quantum beam it's a fun word to say quantum i want to make a, a username now rather than it being like german 985 like german no 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 it would be it'd be fucking quantum conundrum all right let's get back in the i was gonna say i, I know i say boat every time but wait 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 wait. there's too much to see too much, i can't play this game i can't do it i can't do it no, there's too many things to look at there's too many like the things to touch and look at and press i can't play this game I can't, I can't play this game. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going home. I'm out. I'll see you guys in like a month. All right, I, I, I'm going to have to play this game for the next like, six months by myself alone in like my room. Sorry, my room, my room, sorry, my room, my room, sorry, my room. Let's see, like a little canyon. Ooh, there's a little canyon over here, guys. Okay, guys, we found a little canyon. What's down here? Maybe. Okay, guys, we can go this way. Looks like we may have stumbled across something here, guys. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right, we did something. All right, all right. Okay, this is icy. Oh, come on. I, I, you, come on. What? I was floating. I was very trying to be very careful. Was I really going that fast? How fast was I going? This game is good, though. I like this game. I can see why people like this game. Identified the Grove Shard. This planet sometimes, and only sometimes, has a moon. It's also of note, it disappears if no one's watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? It's my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree, our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Found your note, Malore. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes it orbits Timber Hearth as well. Alright. It's pretty cool, man. Alright. Now what? Let's go over here. Church research notes. Property of Church. Clearly, the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What's this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? I'd post it. There's something special about the orange symbol on that device. Al and the new astronaut's translator tool would be nice to handy have right now. It'd be cool if you had it. God damn it, German. Why are you still playing this fucking game? I thought I was gonna just, uh, just, just to make you angry. I knew you were gonna be here when you came in, and I was like, hold on, shit, everybody quiet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this guy, I'm just only make this guy angry. Where's the little, where's the slot? There's usually a slot. How, how, am I missing something here? I don't get it. Did, was there a tr was there a slot I could have put this? Wait, what do you, what do you, wait, 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 this is... Wait, I can take this out and put this in. This is the first time I've ever done that. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know this is a, had other text on it. I thought this is what, I thought this was written on this wall. I didn't know you could do that. Quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Just observe the quantum moon in orbit around dark bramble. You have keen eyes, my friends. This moon travels to a different total of five locations. Five locations, not four. Added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device. It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system where the Phantom Moon travels. I gotta go there. I gotta go there. Alright, I gotta go there. Alright, I gotta go there. So here's what I have to do. I gotta go there. I gotta get in the ship, and I gotta go there. I just gotta wait for it to orbit somewhere, and then go to where it is. And it should be there for a little while. All right, it's right there. All right. So how do I keep this? How do I keep looking at this so I keep staring at it? It's right there. All right. I know what I'm gonna do. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go to this planet, and I'm gonna hang out out here until it comes over this way. All right. I'm going. I'm going to uh, what the, whatever, the, whatever this. I don't know what that the planet's called. I'm going there. All right. I'm going there. I'm going there. I'm going there. I know what it looks. Like. I'm almost dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I need to go to my ship right now. All right, I'm gonna go to Brittle Hollow, and I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm gonna wait till it orbits. I know my hypothesis that the quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Quantum moon travels to a total of five locations. That's not true. Quantum moon sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. 
I'm just gonna see if, if it appears eventually. If I just chill. Am I getting too close to the sun? Oh no. Oh no, we're go okay, we're good. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Okay, here's my idea. Go back on the planet where the, and, and go back on the planet and listen to this shit. Go back on the planet where the things are spinning around, you can actually see the thing. Take a picture of it when you What the fuck was that? Did I avoid it? Okay. Get it in the spot that I want it and take a photo of it. Keep the photo up and then it'll be there. It's just as long as, a, as somebody's looking at it. As long as there's a photo of it or something, right? Is that it? Is this it? Is that it? Is this it? It's this is it. That's it. This is it, right? All right, slow down. Uh, this is it. Is this it? Ooh, this is it. All right, I'm on. I'm on the secret moon. Secret moon. I'm on secret moon. Let's go. Before it disappears. This is it, right? Wait, is that it? Wait, that's it. It's the, it's that one. 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 No, 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 don't get it, don't get it out of my sight. I have to take a picture of it. I have to take a photo of it, take a photo of it. Okay, right? Did I get it? Okay, I got a picture of it. Okay, I got a photo of it, let's go. <laughs> no, okay, slow down. Slow down, slow down. Where is it? Is that it? Where, where is it? I need my, uh... What are you doing? Why is autopilot flying in the fucking sun? <laughs> what a great... Good last words. <laughs> I just imagine like three or four people sitting around eating dinner with autopilot on. That's the reason why the fucking driverless cars ain't ever gonna work. No, this, this cabbage is absolutely fantastic, dear. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah, but, but any, any news? Yeah, we actually... <laughs> Why is my game stuck? Oh, my oh, daughter of mine. A school! It's going great, Dad. <laughs> what do you think about what do you think about the snake, honey? Mmm, it's so good. Mom, you're the best! Yeah, she sure is. What a happy fucking family we have. Ah, that's it. I'll do the dishes tonight. Let me go over here. Uh honey! Why is an autopilot flying into the sun? <laughs> Boom! God damn it. Alright, back to where I was. Alright, take a picture of it, quick! Slow down. Slow down, slow, 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 slow. Take a picture of it, quick! Coming out here. Quantum moon. I found the quantum moon. And there's some fucked up shit going on over here. Wait, where'd it go? What? Up. Uh, okay. Wait. Was I- was I almost about to get squished in the elevator? Was I actually about to die to that? That would have been so embarrassing. I would have ended the stream. Okay. Turn the lights on. Okay. So, uh, we have some translation here. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Somebody with a higher pay grade than me is gonna have to come figure this one out. All right, I remember seeing this image on. Okay, this, these, these are just the planets. I can't move this. Wait, that's not mine. This is a different ship. I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Oh, shit. This is that ship from before. I think I might be in trouble here. Look, just jump on a cactus. All right, can I make it? Let's try. Actually, I might get there. No, I'll get there. I'm gonna get there. I'm never- you people- somebody said I'm never gonna beat this. I think I've made pretty good progress so far. I found the secret moon. I found the Cadbury egg. Where is my- what is my ship doing over here? Wait, what? Wait! 
Wait! Uh, why is it floating? I thought it was on the moon. What? So what did I, I... That thing teleported me back to... I pressed the wrong button or something? Alright, let me... I gotta go see. You found the quantum moon. You found the quantum shrine. You found the quantum shuttle. You found the... Gravity cannon. I recalled a my shuttle from the quantum moon. Where's the quantum McDonald's? That's pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna go do this. Alright, if you went up this quickly, would your stomach go into your esophagus? Probably would. Your brain would go into your stomach. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Why are you doing this to me? It's trying to kill me. It's trying to kill me. Ugh, did I, I did. Autopilot again. Just use autopilot, Germa. It's easier. It won't magnetize you into the sun. <laughs> what a depressing replay. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of replay where you accidentally recorded on the PS4 for five seconds. Ten seconds, you're like, oh, what the, how the fuck did I do that? This is me sitting at the menu. Okay. Engaging autopilot. No, don't do that. Stop. Turn it off. It's gonna go right in the fucking sun. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I thought I did it right. I thought I did it right. <laughs> Uh, I was going too fast, so I had it on autopilot. Okay, I'm good. Oh, Christ! Oh, is it one of these things? Escape pod, distress beacon. We need status reports for all systems. But initial things first, is everyone unharmed? Our escape pod's passengers are afraid. They're physically well. Anana, everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, we were able to find the other escape pod's distress signals. I can hear both signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Launching escape pod 3. Now launching escape pod 2. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. External temperature is pro hip prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on this planet. Escape pod 2. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure, departure from vessel. The heat from this star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. Anana, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for shelter. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. And be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long-term shelter there. Cavern Malare found. It's a wise choice for shelter. Could be... Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry, as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coleus and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. Keep moving, friends. There's nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. No, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. I cannot tell you how far or deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. If there's a, something bad at the end of this tunnel? Do I dare do this? I said don't do this. Well, I can't go down here anyways. I can't, like, go through here. All right, guys. I've gotten rings in Dark Souls that were harder than this. The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. I wasn't making a joke, I'm just being real. Like, it, I mean, I, you do this in Dark, Dark, Souls, Dark Souls 2. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit. Then turn left. 
continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Forward until you meet the sandfall. Forward until the pit. Turn left. Continue the room with rocks. Go up. Sand pit left. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Malare and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter. Oh! Now go behind the sand. Can I go can I get back? Can I go behind this? Can I go behind that? Does it go behind the sand? Is that gonna hurt me? Is that gonna kill me? Is it gonna kill me? Holy fuck. I made it. I thought it was gonna kill me. You're doing well. There's only a little farther left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Sand's coming! 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 Open the door. Uh, up? Or... Which way? What's this? Hold on, wait, what about up here? This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in this cave. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Coleus and I believe this specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin. Especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there's another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. Update. We need to find a way inside quickly. Malore, because when I have returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Holy fucking shit. I've got to get out of here right now. How do I get out? How do I get out? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do I get out of this? How do I get out of here? Hey, so we should build a sun station to the power as uh, ass project. Are there any ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, as per actually, no, we can't imagine discovering anything like that. I understand this pro process is not simple. The sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ashman project. I almost can't, can't comprehend this being this suggested. So the purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe. Unsurprisingly, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the uh, defining characteristic of our species. If we fail, and the probability of this is insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves. All life here and the rest of the star system, I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe we're curious the sun station will be work. I believe. I'm deeply honored. I comprehend your position, however, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction. Once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. But where is it? <laughs> I can't... Up through this hole? I, how do I get in the hole? Oh my goodness. Open. Open the door. Whoa! Did I make it? I got out. I think we're dead. Bye, everybody. Got it! So it's safe to say he knows about the supernova now. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty safe assessment. There it goes again. I kind of want to investigate what that is. You know what I mean? I want to go just- I want to go up there. That thing- I'm going up there. I want to know what that is. I'm gonna hit the surface of this planet! Oh. Get over here. Alright, there it is. Land on it. I landed. What's wrong? What happened? What? Uh, how did I do that? <laughs> nice. I didn't put the suit on. I. Yeah, whatever. And it took me so fucking long to get there, too. Well, look, it happened again. Let's check this place out. God fucking damn it. My microphone's been delayed by 650 milliseconds the whole stream. As if we played Xbox 360 yesterday. 
Let's do the whole stream again. God, I hate when that shit happens. Because capturing the 360, you have to delay your voice because it takes like almost a full second for the capture card to pull it into OBS. God damn it. It wasn't that noticeable. Well, it was definitely noticeable when I was just being missed by asteroids and screaming almost a full second later. Here comes the asteroid! Oh, it just passed. Oh! I thought you were just slow. <laughs> like my brain. Ah, uh, sorry guys. Oh, that was scary. Ah! I have bad news, Athens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source. So the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Asapa. I wish I were, my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow... Oh, I They should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you in Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears that Idea may feel responsible. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Five minutes, 54 seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Begin launch log. Or orbital probe cannon launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Access ex assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. So wait. So the... This thing explodes every time I wake up. And something shoots out of it. Maybe I should follow that thing. Should I just try to chase that thing down? Hello, my better 50%. Asava is sending the last of the cannon components soon. Relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Asava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see. And am I right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? What are you fucking stupid? I can posit. With nearly 100% certainty, our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can. As far as it can, I'll make some adjustments. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. They're trying to find like, the center of the universe. They found it. They went too deep. It caused a fucking time paradox. And every time, I, now I have to fix that. I have to be the one that fucking closes the time loop because they screwed it all up. Because they shot whatever they shot. Really, I'm having a lot of fun playing the game. Get out of town. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, so who minds if it compromises the cannon's structural integrity? I would mind, Mallow, I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Dummy. Alright, I'm gonna- I need to put this data in and see what the hell I'm gonna do next. I need to find this construction yard? I just broke my neck. I just shattered my fucking- all my vertebrae from the top. You know, I built the orbit probe cannon at a construction yard on Giants Deep. Alright. I know where we're going. What is happening? This is in this part of the planet? What? Where the fuck am I? There's a landing pad. Well, the landing pad doesn't solve the problem of the whole island getting picked up and thrown into space. Alright, I'm in the pad. Am I getting a jetpack tutorial booster? It, okay. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed because it's, it like popped up on the screen and fucked with my head. I'm so actually embarrassed right now. That I'm annoyed by that. I can't believe it. It popped up on the screen. I was like, why is it showing this? I've done this a hundred times. 
Yes, hold RT, hold. Yes. Guys, guys, I don't, I don't know why. I don't understand why I'm doing that. I don't get it. I don't understand. I've done this a thousand times. I've jumped like 50 fucking gaps. Is this, this text? Why is the text even on the screen right now? Why is it doing this to me? It's the huge gravity! Right, I forgot. It's the only planet that I've- Oh my god. It's- I, f I forgot. This planet has like times ten gravity. It's the only one that does. Jeez. Statue workshop. Woo! That's broken. We're going to test the memory statues tonight. Block says it could be dangerous, so we can't- I'm dead. But what if we don't see the door and sneak the other way around? We, I really want to see the test too, Lame, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't make Floxel. Maybe Floxel let us test it later. Floxel said told us not to do that. We're going to test the memory statues tonight. It'll be dangerous. Statue workshop leads to Gabro? Giant Steep to learn more about the statue. Statue leads to here. You lead to Statue Island, which leads. The energy lab, which leads to the station, which then leads to the sun station. And then you've, the whole game is you've completed the whole game. All right, I'm going to head back there. All right, let's find... Where's that little island again? Statue Island. Well, that's actually not it. It's something else. Uh, something else. I'm going to check it out. Now, this is what I saw. In there, there's dead bodies here. This is it. We finished building the final Orbital Pro Cannon Module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. Our next step would be to send Privet up to the Orbital Probe Cannon to install the probe tracking system. All my friends here at the construction yard, which is here, my gratitude for your tireless work. I've given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. But I know my brother, Avens, and his spells will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible and where the cannon would break under the station. I propose we give Avens and Malo a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avens behave together, Daz. You may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. Well, we know this is the construction yard. Oh, I don't like this. I want off this ride as soon as possible. What's happening? Oh, it's a twister. I'm safe. Long range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Why is it still picking up the guy from 12 million meters away doing the harmonica? Can I make this jump? Oh boy. All right. New conversation. What is it? Uh, Conoy, Daz, and I were lifting orbitable probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Sava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at the Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Unable to, I am unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Oh no, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current. But I sank straight to the core. I don't know why I'm bringing this with me, but I guess I am. They debated building a sun station. Look at that. You, you built a station on the sun. Let's go look. I mean, if, if you did, then you did, right? Can I get close enough to the sun to find this? I mean, I guess it looks like there's something right here. Or is that just flames? This might just be flames. I, I guess it just sucked me in. <laughs> I was going too fast. <laughs> Shit! You were going 300 meters a second and didn't slow down. I mean, I was holding the back button. 
Go to the sun at night when it's not hot. Yeah, you're right. That's not a bad idea. That scared the fucking shit out of me. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> what? Oh my god. There was no way in my brain that that was gonna happen. What's that? Sun station? That's going way too up. I can't, I can't land on that. Are you kidding me? You can and you will. Where is it? Where is this man? I'm trying to pull up. I'm sucked in. I'm sucked in. Dead. Uh, I'm trying to just like kind of float. That's moving so fast. So I have to match. I have to. How am I going to do that? It's super hard to land on it. Now, I'll try it one more time, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. Kerbal Space Program? No, I tried to play Kerbal Space Program. I, I, I uninstall the game after 15 minutes. Am I going to start burning here? Yep. Oh, fuck. Up, 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 please. How am I going to land on this thing? No way. You can't do this shit. Where is it? Where'd it go? I just circled the damn thing like a full time. Oh, come on. It was right behind me. Oh, God. Damn you. Damn you. I don't think he can. That's seriously fucking insanely. I don't think I can do that. Like speed around the sun? But it just, it's pulling you down. So if I, too, much, too much math. Too dangerous. Uh, I'm going to try this one more time. I'm just going to speed along the surface of the sun while I pull the right trigger. Maybe I should just crash into it. So if I, if I just hold hold down right, you know, hold down, I'm holding down forward right now. I'm just speeding forward. I just got launched out. I don't think you're supposed to do this like this. You probably teleport onto this thing. You definitely teleport from a different location onto this. There's no way this is what you're supposed to do. No, because even if I catch up to it... Alright, what's going on? I'm fucking holding down right trigger right now! I'm holding right trigger! What? What? Alright, I'm, I'm done. I'm not doing that anymore. I'll teleport into the fucking thing like I'm supposed to do in like three hours. In like four and a half hours when I teleport to that station, that's when we'll do it. Cool! Try to fly along the coast of the sun. I can't think of any more things that would be stupid to do as an astronaut. No, why don't we, why don't we just, like, skim the fucking surface of the sun, Greg? That's a good idea. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna go, I'm a good pilot. Alright, what do I actually want to do? Alright, yeah, I want to, okay, I want to do this. I want to go to the statue place. There, statue workshop. Alright, I want to go back to Statue Island. <laughs> I just took my eyes off the road. That was not- No, it's my controller! What the fuck? Okay. Why is this happening again? I fixed this shit already. Give me a break, man. Why did I get hurt from that? Good start. <laughs> I was like looking at my watch. <laughs> Fucking goodness. Okay. Yeah, this- I think I'm using the- I think I'm using the cord that- Remember I told you that I was having problems with my controller? Uh, and it was the- I had to get a new cord. I think I'm using the old cord. Because there's shit everywhere in this room. I think I replaced the cord with the old cord. Bad craftsman blames his tools. Well, no, this is- this is the equivalent of you using a hammer and the hammer disappears out of your hand. While you're about to swing into a nail. And you punch yourself in the dick. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a man. <laughs> That was funny. Quantum hammer was funny. All right, I gotta pay attention. Stop, stop. Oh, I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. How am I going this fast? How am I going this fast? <laughs> Quantum idiot. <laughs> All right. Enough, 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 enough. I'll take your position into consideration. At least one person in chat knows what that was. Nice. Nice Cubert reference. Thanks, man. I, I love Cubert. By the way, Cubert Cubert got a real different shit end of the stick, didn't he? Nobody gives a shit about Cubert. He's one of the original classic video game characters in 
Mega Man's talked about every day. Pac-Man's talked about all the time. Mario's every like what happened to Cubert? Why does nobody like Cubert? Why Cubert not like show up in anything? I think the only time Cubert's shown up in any new media is I think they like punched him in the face in Family Guy because he swears. It's not, it's not even a real swear. It's like a comedy swear. He's in Wreck-It Ralph. Imagine your first real appearance in two, three decades is on Wreck-It Ralph. What are some other video game characters that really should have followed into? This current popular culture could never did. Frogger? Yeah. Frogger is another one, isn't it? Is there a... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I know what to do. 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 Look. Where is it? Find it. Where's the secret entrance? Oh, shit. We're going down. Damn it. That's the right idea, though. That's the right idea. Got it. Got it. Yara, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Vlox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within the Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. What the heck, dude? So I have a... I have like a USB drive on the Ash Twin. Okay, so we go from my brain, it sees me, it sees everything that I've done and ever said and done, and puts it onto the cloud. Just like Google does. This is all for ad tracking. Right now I'm sitting there going, oh fuck, I gotta get there, I gotta get there so I can delete all the times I went to the bathroom. I don't want to see in that. <laughs> well, the only plus two I got for that one was from VR, Josh. Everybody else did minus twos. That was a lot of minus twos in a row. Damn. Yeah. Alright. Fine. Alright, I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin project. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds, as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. This? Wait, every time I die, I see this. And we fly through one of the holes. So those are the USB drives, then. Okay, I thought, hear me out on this. This is gonna be hard maybe for me to describe or for you to see, but that's a person with an astronaut helmet on with two arms sticking out and two legs. And I saw Scout. And I was just like, there's a person here. This is, I gotta talk to the Scout. Ready? Left arm is right here. Right arm is right here. Hold on, let me do this with the mouse. Right arm right here. Left arm right here. There's the head. Is like the end of the helmet. Left leg, right leg. You're a psycho. Why do I have to be a psycho every time? I want to get up there. I want to get up there. Oh, this is how to get up there. Okay, cool. I'm curious, is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? I suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? So they're sending memories back, but not a person? Does that make sense? Why 
leg. It's because it's quantum. Right, I forgot. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit with an Ash twin. I think that, look at how big that one is. This is a mystery one. All right, let's go. Ash twin. See, Jar Jar is the, the whole thing here. Jar Jar is the big doll. What's the line wrong? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Jar Jar is the whole thing. <laughs> Jar Jar is the whole thing here. Okay. Sun time, sun time, sun time. No, it's not sun time. Am I? What's going on? Why is that happening? Um, what's happening? Um, dude can't even fall into the sun right, shaking my fucking head. Called inertia. When you're going 600 miles a second, you can't instantly start going the opposite direction. Uh, but why is it doing this? I'm I'm holding buttons to the right. I swear to God, this is not. I swear to God, I'm doing. I'm dumb not doing this. I'm holding the fucking button, man. I'm going way too fast. I'm holding back. We gotta find the. Blah. Okay, slow down and land. All right, good, nice. Okay, get me the fuck out of here. Found something. Here's our first delivery. One warp core fresh from the black hole forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude. Harry, with this, the Ashwin project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Pokey found on the White Hole Station that started this project. And I visit some time to learn more. I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built. The Ashwin project. The visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. I'd be happy to explain our findings. Here, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister. And go meet her on the White Hole Station. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. Here it goes! Oh! And then we fly through one of these masks, which is a USB slot, then we go through some weird portal. Our memories have been played to somebody. And we go back in time. My energy lab in the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. In the canyon. We gotta go now. Oops. I just landed on somebody. I just killed the dude. No, I didn't. I did not. It's not true. I did not. Alright, abort, abort. It's right in the way. How do you not see this golf ball that's in the way? Autopilot. Stupid thing. Quantum shard. Unknown. Wait, this is known. I've already been up here. It's shirt. Quantum shirt. Quantum shirt. Okay, there you go. You got it. You got your comedy for a full hour. I still don't. I'm. I gotta find the something here. I don't know. Ah. Uh. I already got that cave shard. <laughs> cave shard. All right, that's enough out of you guys for tonight. That's enough out of you guys. Alright. <laughs> Stop. Stop. The comedy meter is falling. Okay. Cave shard. This rock is familiar to you to travel here, my sedimentary friend, because your unique color and texture appear identical to the rock I met earlier. Is this a rock fragment of the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the North Northern Lake Bed Cave. Uh, and uh, Malera and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. Uh, that means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Very curious indeed. It's gone, and therefore it's now in the top of the lake bed cave. The lake bed cave. It's down there. The sand's covering it. Now, yeah, might as well fly into the sun. Shit. He's trying to ghost ride it. Alright, we gotta be quick. We gotta go right to the bottom of that lake bed cave. How I feel about the game so far? I'm intrigued. Because I kind of want to know... Uh, I kind of want to unravel its mysteries. There's, a, there's, an, there's an air of mystery here that I, I would like to know how it comes together. All right, like, it's a little puzzle that you put together in your brain. It seems cool. I want to know. That's going right for the golf ball. 
I always just go too fast because I'm just uh, I go so fast. I go like seven trillion miles per hour and then I can't stop. It's like a it's like if you were on a train train. <laughs> Okay. Okay, hurry up, let's go. Into the cave. North Pole. Oh, why did I not land on the south? I landed on the south pole. All right, here we are. Where is it? Stop showing me the moon. I don't care about the fucking moon. Is it right above me? It's above me. Oh, I'm getting squished. <laughs> that was the worst sound. Yeah, that was a horrible noise. It's above me. It's fucking above me. It's above me! Alright, I... It's so disorienting down there, too. I, I, did I miss the opportunity again? Stop looking for the signal. Oh, and, and 60,000 meters behind you? There's a, there's a beacon somewhere over there. Just in case you wanted to know for your current objective. <laughs> I want to smash this game for making... You want to smash this game for making that noise. So forget about the signal, just run in and just keep going in, but I keep hitting the... There's the... It's like blocked. Two or three of those paths are just blocked. Fuck it. Dude, I'm just flying the ship in here. I don't give a shit. Let's go. I don't give a thing fucking explodes. Don't get crushed by it. Don't get crushed by it. Don't get crushed by it. I'm in. I'm in. Am I in? I'm in. All right, left. And then left. Left. Uh, left. Right. Wrong. Right. Left. Right. Dead end. Motherfucker, I don't know. I get this tiny circle in the middle of my screen. I don't even know what direction I'm facing right now. Use the scout? I, <laughs> what? I, I just have no idea where this even wants me to go. Am I, I, am I supposed to go up this cave? How did I not land on that? God damn it, man. Give me a break. Ugh. What the fuck is going on right now? Did I do it? I can't go this way. Fuck this maze bullshit. Quantum fucking maze. What? I'm losing my goddamn mind. Are these teleporting behind me? Uh, I'm not even going. I don't even know what direction I'm in. R wrong, wrong, but is it wrong? What the fuck are you doing to me? This is ridiculous. I don't know what to do. I don't. Am I going crazy or is this happening to you? I'm going crazy. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, don't wait. Don't. All right. All right. That's not cool. What do I do? Turn. You motherfucker. I figured it out. Turn. Get out. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm almost out of oxygen. <gasps> I did it! If you come here to look for Coleus, this is where we, we vanished. He's been missing for two days. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one. The wandering rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual looking rock shard in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. I thought I was going crazy. I I, I looked over at the chat and people were like, dude, like, what are you, what are you nuts? Like, you stop, you fucking just walk straight. What's wrong with you? And I'm like, what's wrong with me? I'm like, what's wrong with me? Something's wrong with me. What's wrong with me? I thought I was going insane. It was like, dude, are you fucking serious? Get a grip, man. What's wrong with you? Get what, what are you doing? Um, now what? How curious this rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious, but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I seen, been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I myself become quantum, briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. 
I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Malori is here now, too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. Wait, hold on. Can I go more? Can I do more? It does go to another place, doesn't it? No? Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. Ah, oh, this is where that is. Yeah, we, we read this already. So you're telling me I could have just stood on this rock and turned the lights off? And I would have been able to just tell it, not have to do the, the streamer, you're going crazy? Like, what's wrong with you segment? I felt so sad too. I was getting so sad and almost upset and angry with myself because people, I keep seeing like people saying, stop pretending and shit. I'm just like, am I? I don't think I am. Am I pretending to not know where to go? <laughs> I was just like, what happened? How do I not know this? Oh, I'm dead. Why do you let chat bully you so much? I don't, I usually, hey, half the time I'm like, hey, shut up, what do you guys think you are? But I thought I was actually something wrong with me there. <laughs> don't let us affect you like that. I mean, I was in the, you, you're losing your mind part of the game. You know, it's all good, don't worry. I know you guys aren't really trying to make me th think I'm, well, maybe some of you are. So you're telling me, that all I have to do is close my eyes. And, well, we'd like to not go that fast. So I gotta close my eyes on this moon. Oh. What happened? What happened? I don't understand, I don't understand what happened. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make a comparison here to something and a lot of you guys are gonna know what I'm talking about I Remember when I played Darkwood and I stepped in a trap every like four and a half minutes And it got to a point where everybody was certain that I was doing it on purpose They actually believed it. I was like dude. There's no way you're doing that. On you, you have to be doing that you, You've stepped in like 30 traps. The Sun is just the trap from Darkwood. It's just I'm it just keeps happening There's nothing I can do about it <laughs> okay, quantum moon. I want to try this theory out. Where is the damn thing? Okay, we're on the. Okay, now we're on the moon. Now, what and what do we do here? Somebody's dead. Who is this? They have a mask on. They're wearing one of these masks. They're wearing a memory. You. They're wearing a USB mask. Whatever that is. Okay. So somebody's wearing a USB mask here. Okay, they're on the ground now. Alright, let's not look- okay, let's see what happens. No, he's just dead. It's dark in here. It's dark in here, now what? Where am I? New planet? Wait, no, this is the- Isn't this, this like the tentacle planet, right? Let's go over the rules. Quantum imaging is, as long as I have a picture of something, as long as I can see something, it exists. When I, if I don't see something, it could exist somewhere else. Quantum entanglement is, I can ride on top of the rock, right? That's like you're entangled in the quantum and you can move around. The rule of the sixth location, this is the sixth location. What's the rule of the sixth location? If I take, what if I take a picture of just the door? Wait, 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 I have an idea. All right, I have an idea. I'm gonna take a picture of the door where this, it's empty. All right, close the door. Come on. Come on. I thought that was gonna be it. And then, are you, ah. That's not where I want to be. I want to be, with. Is there water filling this place? Why is this place filling up with water? Oh. Quantum tree? Quantum tree, okay. Quantum tree! Quantum tree! Quantum tree! Watch this, ready? Okay, quantum tree! Wait, where's the- wasn't it just back here? Wasn't it- where is this? Hold on, is this e this is not even a pla- wait a minute! This is bullshit! This is- we're not even on that planet! Alright, let's see what happens when I go back all the, over here. Because these are fake planets, this is not real. Look at this is not even real! Yeah, this is the- this is- this is the moon. 
But why does it look like this? Do I take a picture of the moon? Slow, 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 slow! Where am I? I'm almost that fucking fuel. Get back there. <laughs> Alright, but if it's if it's the rule of the six, if the sixth location is just the moon, then I need to keep the moon in place? There's a path beneath the surface that leads to the observatory. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Alright, let's do that. Which is pretty much right here. I haven't really done much in this planet anyway, so I might as well just fucking crash into it and fucking everybody laugh! The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. I never see them move. Is this even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you to record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right, the trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read these notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to move? I missed it, I think. I thought it was just gonna go. Wait, hold on, I might be able to get caught in it. I found Ryback. Hi, Ryback. Oh, you launched, that's great. Great job to you. Well, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, this is Riddle Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. Um, is, should we be concerned about what just, what just fell? Uh, okay. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I saw a hatching. Did you miss it? Because I think it was behind you. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the other say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. You wanna know how I even got this far? I fell. Me too, Ryback, me too. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable. Instead of being sucked into what's below. I'm engaging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. It needs to be the place with the best surface integrity. I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move on. That's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? Yeah, that'd be yeah. Hey, I learned something. I saw the Sunless City on the Ember Twin. You mean there's another Know My City inside the Ember Twin? That's incredible, the whole city, and I had no idea it existed. But they keep the sand out. For me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. Gosh, the Know My sure were ingenious, building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City, wow. That means there were two groups of Know My. One that lived on Ember Twin, and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow, but they must have traveled around the solar system since Nomai writing can be found on other planets too. Or should I look here? Where shouldn't you explore? Um, not the black hole, that's very no, which is unfortunate because, uh, the most exciting stuff is beha below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. I'm just going for whatever that is. Let me back in. 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 I'm just gonna go to the interloper. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Wait a minute. What's that? Something. Something. Something right here. Something. Come on. I need to see it before I die. Before I die. Before I die. Come on. I need to see it before I die. Please. I need to see it before I die. There's nothing to see. Turn around. I mean, I'm dead. I can... 
What did I miss? Golden Retriever brain? Golden Retrievers are like the smartest animal. So, dude, what the fuck do you think I care about you saying that? That's one of the smartest animals on Earth. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna call it here, I'm gonna call it here. I want, an, uh, cause I'm, I'm getting addicted to the game. So there's a, there was apparently a ship that you said? There was a, there was a, I missed a ship. Like that way? Oh, we're going towards the sun! My, you have to be careful! <laughs> I just got, I, 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 I was trying to find this thing and now the sun was coming up and I thought I was gonna fucking fall into the sun. Let me try this one more time. One more time. I think a little. I, th I think I'm more addicted to one. I just want to know what the hell happens. The story has me intrigued. I, I want to know what what's going on. Why am I teleporting back through time? What did these people do? What did this other civilization do? And why are we here doing this? All right, see you later. I'm going to bed. I'm sitting there talking to you guys. I'm sitting there looking at chat, withholding the button. And I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'm addicted and I like to talk about the story and seeing what you guys have to say. This thing's so tiny. It's so hard to, uh, it's just such a small little fucking asteroid. Like, this is why space games are hard for my brain. I feel like I'm not even moving right now. In my fucking cube brain, I'm standing still. Right there, right there, right there. All right, what's that? Found it. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle. Well, someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained on the shuttle, in the shuttle, to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think. Larry, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Oak and I can continue to investigate the surface. <laughs> I didn't jump. I didn't jump. I did not jump. I didn't press any buttons. I didn't do anything. It sucked us out. Did you not know see? My friend, the ship, getting sucked out? I didn't do anything! <laughs> Get in! Alright, that's it. Wait, the ice can melt? Alright, this can melt. Alright, this is gonna melt. Quantum melt? <laughs> that sounds like a Subway sandwich. The quantum melt at Subway. Holy shit, I want one of those. A quantum melt? Seriously? That would be turkey, ham, Thank you. Six different kinds of cheeses. It'd be like Swiss, cheddar, provolone, gruyere, brie. It'd be every cheese. Wait, is this gonna take too long? The thing is, this song gonna explode? Just read bits. I, I could, um, yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'll just read bits. Is it paused when it's all tabbed? I think it's paused when it's all tabbed. Well, I can do it because I can just load up the screen over here. All right, Digitron Surfers. Thanks for the 500 bits. In the upcoming YouTuber movie series, are you going to be playing Penis Germa, or are you going to just to play yourself? I love your channel. I don't even know what that means. Did it melt? That didn't do anything! Alright, goodbye. Funny jump joke, I didn't press jump. I didn't. The sun comes up and fucking just pulls you up, and I and you, I'm, I was holding left trigger. Run it back! I was holding left trigger and like forward facing down. No. No, I got baited, and that's fine. I can't believe I... You know the, the thing I'm most annoyed about tonight? The fact that I was like almost... I was more than a half a second behind every event that happened on screen for like the first three and a half hours. I'm so annoyed by that. Dark Soul, thanks for the 250. Have any, uh, do you have any good, awful local commercials to share? Here's one of my favorites. Awful local commercials? Two Brothers scrap metal commercial. Vicky, what do I do with all this scrap metal? Dad, what should Jan do with all her scrap metal? Just tell her to call Two Brothers scrap metal. Got scrap? Call Two Brothers scrap metal and recycle your aluminum, copper, brass, steel, or any scrap metal for the highest price. Two Brothers also provides residential and commercial pickup. Why would you have this much scrap metal? Drum handling, radio dispatch lift trucks, and free roll-off service. Recycling makes sense. Just because? What, what, how, why would you have a ton of scrap metal in your house? Uh, 
I mean, not not really local commercials, but anything with Kathy Mitchell is like an automatic A plus commercial for me or infomercial. Hi, Kathy Mitchell here with the Super Cooker. She's I love her so much. You guys like seriously don't know. I am a huge fan of Kathy Mitchell. I'm a huge fan. If me and Kathy Mitchell were in the same room at a convention, I would get nervous and I'd be taken aback. Oh, it's Kathy Mitchell. She no, she wouldn't. She not have to talk to me. I would want Kathy Mitchell's autograph and a photo, and it would be a great. It would be a great day. I'd feel so happy. Be like, I got to meet Kathy Mitchell today. No way. She's the dump cakes lady. Yeah, she's been around for a long time. The new wave oven, pasta pro, dump cakes, dump meals. She does it all. I'm gonna do you all a favor. Go to YouTube and just watch the new wave oven infomercial with Kathy Mitchell. And you will just absolutely adore everything that she does. She's just wonderful. Watch it now. That's like a 30 minute infomercial. I'm not watching it right now. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to get food and pee for the first time in eight hours. And with that, that's where we're going to end the stream tonight.